All right, well, good afternoon, everyone. We're going to start with another interview with Lieutenant Colonel Bill Jacobus. And Bill, back in 2010, actually kind of co-founded the uh, U.S. military cycling team, and we're joined now. Uh, so tell us a little bit about why you started this, this program, this organization, and, and kind of your involvement. Well, thanks. Yeah, we, uh, we started the program back in 2010. We wanted to give elite military athletes uh, a structure to train in and, and race in all year round. That really didn't exist at that time. It would stand up for a week or a year or so. Um, but to race at this level, to train at this level, to run as really a professional team required us to form a nonprofit and do it as an, an entity outside the government. So we did it that way and we started U.S. Military Cycling in those days. We've grown now. We're U.S. Military Endurance Sports. We have a pro triathlon team. We have hundreds of developing and brand new uh, athletes that are trying out cycling or working on their triathlon times. Um, all military, open to veterans. We have our uh, adaptive team as well that we are bringing our wounded our wounded brothers and sisters into the family, and, and that's been a great experience this year. So, And I was going to say, I think that, that one of the best things is being able to, you know, for people that aren't avid cyclists, that are just kind of looking to maybe get off the couch and to do something and to come together as a community. I mean, have, how many people do you see in the future kind of becoming part? Because now you have over 400 cyclists now, and I'm sure you hope to grow that. Now we have, we're, we're the, to give you an idea on the where we are in our growth curve, we have we're about 400 members today, but we're getting about 40 new a week. So that's we're in that really steep part of the growth curve. And, and our big hope is that we can impact for our military family some of those members that are maybe thinking about how to get fit, whether it's running, whether it's trying a triathlon, just a short one, whether it's maybe buying a bike. Well, we bring expertise of having done it at the professional level. We bring our contacts throughout pro cycling, and we can we can translate all that expertise down to those members, no matter what level they're at. So that's our big three pushes: our you know education for all our members, regardless of what level they're at. Um, we connect them to the cycling industry, helping break down some of those barriers to get started if it's cycling they're looking at. And then the last piece is community. We're all military. Um, we really have a great connection, especially for a lot of the veterans, to keep keep you know, touch with some of the friends that they served with and a little bit of the community for the active side. And we honestly, we've been able to grow this year. That's what that growth is due to is the, the support of the Boeing company with, they really gave us uh, the time and a lot of the support to build that foundation. So now we're, we're putting it to work and we're impacting lives and uh, hopefully we can reach out to a lot of military members. Well, you are well on your way. I mean, as evident here today, the, the, the weather is perfect, a lot of people, and I you can really just get a, a sense of the, the community and kind of familial feeling around here. So My guys are still doing good out there. I just checked on the last lap. There are at least a few of them still hanging in there with all the top pros, so we'll see how they do. Thanks for having us. Oh, no, our pleasure, our pleasure. Bill Jacobus, again, the founder back in 2010 of the U.S. military cycling team and now the endurance team. So congratulations and thank you again. Thank you.